In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about six women's copy fragrances from the Essence Vault that are inspired by some of the most popular perfumes that money can buy right now. And I uh, picked these up at a total bargain basement price. So say goodbye to paying through the nose for fancy bottle designs and pretentious A-list celebrity endorsements. I'll uh, be letting you know how these compare in terms of the scent accuracy and the performance, as well as how to get your hands on three of these 100ml size bottles for just £15 each. So, to find out all you need to know about this little haul, stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. Yes, greetings from 01274 and thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and today I'm going to be talking about six women's fragrances from the Essence Vault that I think are really safe blind buys. I bought them using the Times 3 deal that's been running on their website for quite a while now, which is any three 100ml size bottles of your choice for only £49.99 instead of the usual retail price of £75. But on top of this uh, you also can get a huge extra 20% discount by clicking on the link that I've left in the description and uh, your discount should automatically be applied for you at the checkout uh, but if for any reason your discount doesn't appear automatically then just type in Paul in the voucher code uh, which will, then will, you'll save a further 20% and bring the price down to £39.96 uh, and I would say that that makes these possibly the cheapest clones that you can buy in terms of price per milliliter and they work out at around about £15 each, which is uh, prob uh, probably what most of the clone houses charge for just a 30ml bottle size. They also come with free shipping, and again, unlike some other clone houses that I won't mention, um, you won't have to wait a week or a fortnight for them to be dispatched, and uh, then end up having to chase them up every time you place an order. These always arrive really quickly, and uh, they're packaged properly, so I would confidently say that the Essence Vault lead the way by a country mile when it comes to providing a professional service and all of these fragrances are vegan friendly and cruelty free Okay, so this first one that I'm going to talk about today is Essence Vault number 479 and this is inspired by Libra from the house of Yves Saint Laurent. The top notes in this are Pettigrain, Black Currant, Lavender and Mandarin Orange. In the mid we've got Orange Blossom, Lavender and Jasmine and the base notes in this one are Musk, Ambergris, Cedar and Madagascan Vanilla. Yeah, so this one is a very clean smelling fruity floral perfume with a prominent note of lavender up top and uh, we've also got some orange blossom in the opening uh, but this, again these two notes are supported by the tart fruitiness of the black currant and the mandarin orange. Uh, so you kind of end up with like a bright and airy introduction that's fairly fruity and fresh smelling and it's got a real springtime feel about it. But as it dries down you get a smooth creamy Madagascan vanilla and some musk that kind of comes through the, from the base which adds a rich warmth to the heart of the scent but it remains bright and uplifting with a hint of sweetness. This is very classy and elegant and it's kind of a calming scent with a slightly more mature character uh, so it'd be probably best suited to women maybe over the age of 25. It's uh, a very long lasting perfume with a fairly strong projection but it's not too overpowering so it's extremely versatile and it'd be great it'd be a great perfume to wear as like a, an office fragrance or one to just wear casually during the day as well as uh, wearing it dressed up on a night out. This Essence Vault, uh, Essence Vault version is uh, very accurate to the original and in the air you won't be able to uh, notice a difference between this one and the original. I think this is a very sexy smelling perfume and it's always one of the first perfumes that I recommend to women who are just looking for a kind of a dumb reach all round signature scent. Okay so the next one in this haul is uh, Essence Vault code number 17 and this is inspired by the original Daisy from Marc Jacobs which first launched back in 2007. It's a, a bright sparkly semi-sweet perfume that opens up with playful fruity notes of strawberry and grapefruit. The heart is crammed with clean soapy and powdery florals including violet, gardenia and jasmine and all these fruity florals sit on a base of white woods, vanilla and musk. And what you get with this one is a light and bright summery scent that's uh, ridiculously easy to wear and super versatile and likeable. But I think it's uh, probably 
better suited to younger women, maybe in their early 20s, because it is quite a cute, playful, fruity smell with some soft, delicate florals. And some people have described it uh, smelling like a, a banana-like fruitiness coming from it, which I can kind of see where they're coming from. But perfumes do paint a picture and this does make me think of like a young carefree woman in a, a soft top Volkswagen Beetle driving through the countryside in the middle of summer. It's kind of that summery vibe. It is youthful with a happy cheerful summery character and this one would be uh, absolutely perfect for a teenager who's heading off to university or to buy for your daughter's uh, first ever perfume. It's pretty impossible to di uh, dislike how this one smells, uh, but it may be a little bit underwhelming and perhaps a bit juvenile uh, to women who like more niche smelling, uh, more rich and intense perfumes. Yeah, so this next one is Essence Fault number 144, and if you like ultra sweet smelling perfumes, then they don't come much more deliciously sweet than this because it's inspired by the original La Via Belle by Lancome. This opens up with fruity notes of black currant and pear, and it's supported by uh, some powdery florals in the heart, including iris, jasmine, and orange blossom. But it's the base notes of uh, praline, vanilla, and the tonka beans, which blend with that juicy pear in the opening. Uh, and it brings an intense, fruity, but also creamy sweetness, uh, which the original La Via Belle is uh, famous for. This is a super powerful, super long lasting perfume that will fill a room with just a few sprays. But even though it's so loud, sweet and playful, it still has more of a grown up character. And this is probably best suited to uh, women maybe 25 or even 30 and upwards. This is a, kind of a going out type of scent and not really one that I would recommend you to wear as a, an office or a, like a casual daytime scent because it is quite loud and pungent. It's also way too sweet to wear on a, like a hot sunny day, uh, so it's maybe not the most versatile on this list, but it's still an absolutely stunning smelling perfume, and that's why the original has been one of the most popular fragrances for like the past 10 years. This uh, inspired by version from the Essence Vault smells exactly the same as the original at a fraction of the price, and that's why it's uh, one of the uh, first that I'd recommend to anyone that's looking to smell amazing on a budget. Okay, so the fourth recommendation today is Essence Vault number 19. And this is uh, inspired by Black Orchid by Tom Ford. And even though I personally really love how this one smells, it's probably the most niche smelling one out of today's list and more of a polarizing scent profile, which might not be for everybody. But I think it smells very expensive and luxurious and it produces a rich, dark and full bodied aroma. It contains no less than 23 different notes, uh, but the most prominent notes to my nose are obviously the orchid and then the sweet notes of truffle, Mexican chocolate and vanilla. Uh, so you basically get a, a very sweet indulgent aroma with a smooth velvety texture and topped off with that floral orchid note. You do also get a bit of spiciness with this one and a hint of uh, smoky incense and it does have a, a definite nighttime quality to it and this is what you'd, I'd kind of expect you to wear with uh, a little black dress for a, a special like a special event. It's uh, very classy and very elegant uh, but this is for when you want to make a really bold statement and get noticed because it has an extremely powerful projection and it lasts for a good seven hours uh, so it's one of the uh, strongest performers out of this six that I'm bringing you today. It's very sophisticated, very sexy and uh, would probably best suit a professional woman in her 30s and above. Like I say, this is not the safest blind buy and you'll either love it or hate it, but I stand firmly in the uh, love it camp. I think the Essence Vault have done an absolutely brilliant job and nailed the accuracy with this one and anyone who's familiar with how Black Orchid smells will be blown away with just how close this one is to the original and it's one that I highly recommend if you're new to perfumes and thinking about getting into more niche smelling ones. Okay, so this next one is Essence Vault code number 82 and uh, this one is inspired by Black Opium from the house of Yves Saint Laurent. The top notes in this are pear, orange blossom and pink pepper. In the heart we've got jasmine and coffee and the base notes in this are cedar, patchouli and vanilla. Yeah, so this one is a stunning coffee and vanilla scent which is like a rich, warm and seductive smelling uh, perfume. 
This is one where from the initial spray I'd be happy to wear it myself because the coffee note in this is absolutely wonderful. But as it dries down it does become much more feminine smelling and there's some florals in the heart including jasmine and the orange blossom. But it's the vanilla, the patchouli and cedar uh, that provide the depth and the staying power from the base. It's a warm, sweet and powdery perfume uh, with a rich, dark and velvety character. In terms of performance, the original um, is not the strongest performer and has a, a fairly soft projection which sits fairly close to the skin and say, same goes for this Essence Vault version. It does last for maybe four or five hours uh, but it's one where people will kind of need to be in uh, a fairly close proximity to you to be able to smell it on you uh, which makes it perfect to wear during the day or as a, like a daily driver or as a, an office scent. But it is also well suited to wear kind of in the evenings because it does smell very elegant and classy when you're dressed up or when you're ready to go out for a night out around on the town or, or heading out for a date night etc. But all in all this is a great smelling fragrance uh, which is very sexy, very addictive and kind of quite understated and I love to smell this on a woman. Uh, so give it a go and let me know what you think of it. And last but very much not least, uh, how could I leave this one off this particular list? This is Essence Vault number 444 and this is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. This one for me is one of the highlights in the Essence Vault range and it's very accurate to the original and I'd say that it even outperforms the original Lost Cherry in terms of projection and all round performance. It's an absolutely delicious smelling gourmand uh, perfume with a, a realistic thick gooey cherry compote type of aroma uh, and that takes centre stage but there's also uh, like an uh, amaretto note so you do get a touch of booziness also in the, uh, the composition. But I'm sure most people have uh, will have already tried this one and know exactly what it smells like anyway. So I'll sign off today's review by saying that this is my favourite version of Lost Cherry from any clone house or any copy scent that I've actually tried. Right from the initial spray with this one, it fills the room uh, with the most intense blast of rich, dark, super sweet cherry. And it's absolutely wonderful. And uh, for 15 quid, it's an absolute no-brainer. Um, so I am going to spray a couple of these on this on myself because it's going to be my scent of the day and uh, if for some reason you haven't tried Lost Cherry then I would urge you to pick this one up straight away because um, it is an absolutely fantastic scent and uh, prepare to be amazed. Yeah, so just a quick summary, you literally can't go wrong with any of these perfumes that I've spoken about in this video and they're all based on super popular mass appealing designer perfumes anyway. I have tried to uh, include uh, a, a large variety of different ones so there should be something to suit women of any age and for any situation in, the, in this uh, six bottle haul. The Essence Vault are a really safe and reliable option if you are looking for high quality, low cost uh, inspired by perfumes that smell exactly like your favourite designer brands. But as with all copy fragrances, for best results I recommend that just to leave them to uh, settle for a few minutes before you go in for a close sniff because they do contain a high concentration of perfumers alcohol which kind of needs to evaporate before you're able to detect what it's uh, meant to be inspired by. Uh, and if you do go straight in for a close sniff you'll probably end up getting nose blind and not being able to uh, smell anything and just it'll ruin your experience. So I would say just spray them on and uh, leave them to do their own thing and, and, uh, and then you'll start to catch wafts of what they're meant to be inspired by. Okay so that's about it for this first dedicated women's episode of my favourite Essence Vault perfumes. I hope you uh, have loads of fun discovering some new and exciting signature scents and if you found this video useful in any way then please don't forget to uh, give it a cheeky thumbs up and also to subscribe to the channel because I will be bringing you much more female based content in the near future including lots of original perfumes as well as plenty more copy ones from various clone houses. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in today. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye-bye for now.